Hello everyone, this is Maritime Studies channel on YouTube and in this video I want to start talking about Marple Convention Annex 1. In Annex 1 of the Marple also same as other annexes of the Marple in Regulation 1 we are talking about definitions. Okay, let's talk about some of important definitions of this regulation. The first of all we talk about definition of oil tanker. Looking very simple but have many details inside. As per the definition of the Annex 1, Regulation 1 for the oil tanker, it says that this is a ship which is constructed for carrying oil in bulk. But even it's telling here that even NLS tankers, you know NLS tankers, in Annex 2 we will talk about them. NLS tankers, we are calling nowadays usually chemical tankers. These are the tankers which fulfill with the requirements of the Annex 2. Okay, even LLS tankers also, if carrying oil, will define as an oil tanker and should fulfill with the requirements of this annex. Even says in this definition of the Annex 1, Regulation 1, even says even gas carriers which are defined in the SOLAS Convention, uh, if I don't make mistake, um, Chapter 2, Part 1, Regulation 3, even as per that definition, even gas carriers also, if in some special circumstances carrying oil, they will be defined as an oil tanker. Okay, you see, this is not the simple things. Many, many things here in this regulation. So you must know about this. That's why I'm emphasizing on these definitions again. The next things, definition, it means better I tell you, the, the next definitions are trying to distinguish between chemical tankers, oil tankers, crude oil tankers, oh my god, uh, product tankers, you know why I'm telling oh my god, because nowadays you see these names, product tankers, oil tankers, chemical tankers, widely we are using instead of each other wrongly. In this regulation, we are trying to distinguish between these things, between these wordings. Crude oil tanker says here in this regulation, means regulation one, Annex one regulation one of Marple says crude oil tanker is a ship designed and engaged in carrying crude oil. Simply. And the next one, product tanker, is an oil tanker which is carrying oil other than crude oil. It means carrying other type of oil except crude oil. Will be product tanker. Chemical tanker, as I told you, NLS tankers means Annex 2, fulfilling with the requirement of the Annex 2 of Marple. And a gas tank, gas carriers, as they are defined in the SOLAS Convention. Chapter 2, Regulation 1. Chapter 2, Part 1, Regulation 3.2. So you see, these definitions are really important, especially I'm telling you why, because we are using instead of each other these names nowadays, most of the time wrongly we are using. Okay, let's talk about uh, other important things in this uh, annex, special areas of Annex 1. No need to memorize, first of all I tell you, no need to memorize, just remember the picture. Most of the special areas are here. There are 10 geographical locations, famous geographical locations. There are special areas of Annex 1. Just remember from the top side, Black Sea, Mediterranean Sea, North East, European waters, means North Sea, Irish area, Baltic Sea. Then coming down, Red Sea, little bit this side, Gulf of Aden, little bit top side of Gulf of Aden, Oman Sea, little bit west of the Oman Sea, Gulf's area, we are, we are calling Gulf's area, means two Gulf, means Oman Gulf and the Persian Gulf. Then coming down, completely down, very famous special area, which we will talk about that more in the future, that is the Antarctic area. And it means below the... Um, 60 degrees south latitude and little top side of that 
means southern part of the South African waters. You see, these are all the these are all the ten special area of, of Annex One. So um, I think that is enough for Regulation One of Annex One of Marpol. That is enough, and let's talk about Regulation Two, Annex One. Okay, Regulation 2 of Annex 1 talking about application. It says, unless expressly provided otherwise, the provisions of this Annex shall apply to all the ships. You see, so this Annex is applicable to all the, all the ships. Maybe sometimes you hear that somewhere written, somebody says, somebody thinking like that, that this annex is only applicable to the vessels more than more than 150 tons GRT, more than 400 uh, tons GRT, other vessels and tankers 150 tons GRT. No, that is the requirement regarding the certification, which we will talk about that in Regulation 6 and 7. That is the requirement for the survey. That is the requirement for the certifications under this annex, which we will talk about that later just remember this annex will apply to all the ships and it is emphasizely telling here in annex one regulation two application says that unless expressly provided otherwise the provisions of this annex will apply to all the ships it's very clear In Regulation 3 and 4 of Annex 1, we are talking about exemptions and the waivers. Ships such as hydrofoils, air cushion vehicles, submarine crafts, near surface crafts, and such kind of this, this type of vessels may be, remember, may be exempted by the administration from fulfilling with the requirement of the Annex, provided that in their construction, they have equivalent protection against pollution by oil. Remember this. And another waivers, another important waivers in this regulation, Regulation 4 of Annex uh, 2, we are talking about this, that admin may waive the regulation, the requirements of the regulations 29, 31, and 32, of this annex for the vessels which are engaged in the voyages with a period of 72 hours and less and within the distance from the nearest land less than 50 miles. The admin may waive the requirement of these regulations for this kind of, this kind of vessels. Remember reg uh, about regulation 29, 31 and 32, we'll talk about that in the, in the near future. Later, we'll talk about these uh, regulations. Just remember 29, talking about the slope tanks, 31, talking regarding the systems such as ODME and 32, oily water separator. Regulation 5, Annex 1, talking about equivalence. Remember just we talked about a uh, little bit, we talked about equivalent protection in previous regulation, means regulation for Annex 1. Just remember about this regulation, regulation 5 annex, of Annex 1, that admin may accept, may allow sometimes some special fittings, materials, appliance, which to be fitted as an alternative to any requirement of these regulations of this Annex. Just this acceptance shall be reported by the admin to organization. Okay, in this video we talked about regulation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of Annex 1 of Marple Convention. Thank you everybody. Especially, I'm requesting you again, please don't forget to subscribe my channel using this red subscribe button below the video. And also, don't forget to hit the bell to see my newest video in the next weeks. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everybody.